what you will and you shall receive I will be the and you
the waters of baptism, Billy died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. In life, Billy cherished the book of the gospel. May Christ now greet him with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. On behalf of Billy's family and their families, I just want to say how welcome you all are here today for Billy's funeral mass. May he rest in peace our sympathy to all his family. I know well that our celebration of Billy's life is also an occasion of thanksgiving for his 93 years and for his <coughs> vocation in life as a husband, as a father, and a friend and neighbor, and how much he enjoyed the simple things of life and his sudden death was sad and beautiful as well. And doing something and waiting, but something he enjoyed so much. So in the whole spirit of Billy's life, we'll begin by having the symbols of Billy's time among us. Symbols of Billy's life. Maya brings Billy's walking stick, a symbol that he walked up the steps in Kilkenny dog track for the last time. Lauren brings Billy's hat, a symbol of his good style. Ellie brings the dog card, but on the night Billy was first home over the line. Danny brings the photo, family photo, Emily, family, faith and love where Billy's heart felt principles in life. Ryan brings the farmer's journal, which Billy really enjoyed every Thursday. Sophie brings the rosary beads, which Billy, Mary, and his children prayed every night. Emily brings the TV remote, which gave Billy many hours of joy watching Sky Sports. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Coming together now here. In Timo Church as God's family with confidence 
we ask the Father's forgiveness for the Lord is full of gentleness and compassion. You raise the dead to life, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery your servant, Billy, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And we'll sit now for the word of God today. <coughs> A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he'll remove the morning veil covering all peoples and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away the people's shame. Everywhere on earth, for the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God, in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. The Lord's my shepherd, he gives me all he takes me where the cool rain falls he is the place free from earthly strife he gives me hope he gives me life sometimes it's dark and there's dangers near but you are there I have no fear you give me food so my foes can see that I am yours that you love me Throughout my life, you point the way. Your guiding hand is there each day. Throughout all time, I sing your love, our prayers and thanks. To God above, our prayers and thanks to God above. That was fantastic. Well done, Connie. A reading from St. Paul to Thessalonians. We want you to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them, like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any two of us who are left have died. At the trumpet of God, the voice of the archangel will call out the command, and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. 
those who have died in Christ will be first to rise. Then those of us who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds, together with them, to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts at these, you should comfort one another. The word of the Lord. According to St. John, on arriving at Bethany, Jesus found that Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days already. Bethany is only about two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to sympathize with them over their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus had come, she went to meet him. Mary said, sitting in the house, Martha said to Jesus, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, whatever you ask of God, he will grant you. Your brother, said Jesus to her, will rise again. Martha said, I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who was to come into this world. The Gospel of the Lord. Sit down just for a few moments. No one. <clears throat> Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. That's powerful and beautiful and it's there in the Gospel of St. John from the words of Jesus Christ. We are gathered here in big numbers today for Billy Ramsbottom's funeral mass. For sadness because we'll all miss Billy for the joke and the conversation and the pleasantness but as well as that, there's gratitude and thanksgiving because Billy had a beautiful life with his family, his home. You know, I wouldn't say this is really a homily at all, but you know where Billy sat in the armchair, Mark Grandad's chair for the last few years, in the little sitting room off the kitchen above in the house, in Gary Glass. Well, he must have often gazed up at the picture over the mantelpiece. I, anytime I'm in the house, I'm fascinated with the specialness of that picture. Billy and Mary and the eight children at different stages in their lives around them. The eight children that they brought into the world around him. 
I know it's a very special photograph. And I'm thinking of it now today as summing up Billy's life for us all. A father, a husband, the father of five sons and three daughters and the grandchildren. And having been blessed with 93 years and I suppose I could say really he enjoyed every one of the 93 years and winning or losing or second or third in the dogs or whatever he still carried a smile to those around him his sons and his daughters and his grandchildren of course I'd be sad missing him now from today on but they'll also realize how blessed they were to have him for so long and know that he was with them all through as a father and as a friend as a father and a friend there he was the other night at the dogs in Kilkenny waiting for his dog to run in the first race. And suddenly he passed away. He was a proud granddad too, a few weeks ago, when he was in in no more park and the miners winning and his grandson had joined captain of the team winning the minor championship. And uh, he was always in Gary Glass when the family members called in home to say hello and to say good night and to say good morning and to say good morning frequently. And then Maria there all the time with them coming and going. The others had their own homes to come to. Maria had come to our dad to be with him and she with he with her. And then his son the mass, so important to him to sit there and let's see him up for all he come joining. And <clears throat> Grand Willie's life Billy, Billy's life was special, it was friendly, pleasant, family man, a faith man. Billy <clears throat> The people who knew him and the people who were friend, friendly with him would always find a person of great courtesy, a person of great kindness. And 13 years ago, his beloved wife, Mary, passed. And uh, we thought it would be the end. But they were a great team, the two of them. Today we prayerfully say, may they rest in peace. But above all, we're saying, thank God for their wonderful example they left to their family and to their families, the families of their family, and to his friends and neighbors. The wonderful example they gave in a Christian, simple way of life. Helping us all to realize the importance and the specialness of faith in Jesus Christ. And above all, all the family means, the meaning of family life. We're still in the Christmas season, and surely Christmas is a great reminder to us of the specialness of our own family. People coming home to spend the few days or the few hours in their family circle, the family emphasizing again over Christmas. So today, on this feast of St. Stephen, the first martyr, we say, <clears throat> Lord of mercy on Billy and Mary. May they now rest in peace. Amen. We stand now for the bidding person.
We thank God for friends, and I'm grateful to be able to call Grandad my best friend. Lord, hear us. Thank you to all the staff and lifelong friends of Grandad in Kilkenny Dog Track. Also, thank you to PJ Peacock, who attended Grandad with such professionalism and respect in his final moments. Lord, hear us. We thank God for the love that shone brightly from Grandad's kind face. Lord, hear us. For Grandad, who lived a life of generosity and dedication to God and to his family, we pray that he may be welcomed with love and joy into his hem heavenly home, reunited with his beloved wife Mary, brother Sean, Noel, and father Pat. Lord, hear us. For Grandad's 17 grandchildren whom he adored, may they be granted consolation from the Holy Spirit and discover hope in their grief. Lord, hear us. We pray, for, we pray for all Grandad's family, especially Maraid, who cared so well for Grandad. We also pray for his neighbours, the Tim Ho community, and his many friends in the Greyhound and GAA circles. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. <clears throat> all of us together now, for all our holy souls, and remembering all at Christmas time, Billy and all of we remember. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine on them. May they rest in peace. Amen. We sit now and they offer three gifts of bread and wine of God to the altar. sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Billy, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying may be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit on them like the Jew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with France, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Billy, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have been died and transform our lowly bodies after the pattern of his own glorious body. Remember him with all your brothers and our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now we we'll stand again and all of us together praying in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. 
Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Say the word of my soul. Body and blood of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. Cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday for a cross that old rugged cross so despised by the world as a wondrous attraction for me for the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear me to dark Calvary so I change On that old cross, Jesus suffered and died to pardon and sanctify me. So I cherish the old rugged cross till my toes.
happiness of his life, for his role in life as a father, as a husband, as a friend, and a granddad, family member. We pray, Lord, in thanksgiving with the Eucharist at a time when we feel that faith and community never needed the Eucharist more and in our world of wars and drugs and violence. Lord, peace in our hearts, our homes, and above all, peace in our world. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body and blood, food for the journey of life, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Billy may come to the eternal table of Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The tears of 
all been shared now We've said our last goodbye His soul's been blessed and laid to rest and Now I feel alone He was more than just a father my best friend He can still be heard In tunes we've shared When we played them on our own And I never will forget him For he made me what I am Though he may be gone Memories linger And I miss him, the old man As a boy, he'd take me walking By mountain, field and stream And show me things not known to kings Secrets between him and me Like the colors of a pheasant As it rises in the dawn And how to fish and make a wish Beside the holy tree And I never will forget him For he made me what I am Though he may be gone Memories linger on And I miss him The old man I thought he'd live forever He seemed so big and strong Fly and years roll by for a father and a son. And suddenly, when it happened, there's so much left unsaid. No second chance to tell him thanks for everything he's done. And I never will forget him For he made me what I am Though he may be gone, memories linger on And I miss him, the old man And I never will forget him for he made me what I am Though he may be gone Memories linger on And I miss him The old man <clears throat> that was brilliant, Damien, I must say. I think it, it exactly described the boss, I think. Brilliant. Thanks, Damien. Um, on behalf of the Ramsbottom family, I'd just like to say a small few words, a few thank yous, and a small few words about the, the boss man. A few thank yous first. Again, I'd like to thank the choir, Karen and the choir here. Super, as always. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you.
Again, Damien Bow, he sang here at the wake the other evening. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks, Damien. I'd like to thank Father Kelly, especially. Um, Father Kelly is a very good friend of Daddy's all through the years. Daddy was very, very fond of him. Um, great friends they were. So I'd like to thank Father Kelly and Father David for all their help over the last few days. The Mass servers and everybody who helped out with today's Mass as well, it's lovely, thank you very much. Um, the, the GA for their Guard of Honour, um, brilliant, the bossman as you know is a great GA man, he's the President of the Timoa GA Club and he was Chairman for a number of years, I think he held nearly every job, Treasurer, I think he'd done everything in the club but I know he, he loved the GA and thank you very much to the GA for the Guard of Honour. Um, I want a special thanks to Willie and Jim Whelan, the Undertakers. Absolutely couldn't praise these guys high enough since we called them last Thursday evening at Tilly Kenny to come down and they've been on the phone ever since and they're professionals. It's unbelievable and we are so grateful for them. Thank you very much, lads. Uh, Greg Mack as well, the grave digger. Thanks, Greg. You there during night. Thanks very much, Greg. Um, our neighbours in Gary Glass, friends all, helped over the last number of days calling in, calling in and dropping in food and everything. They've been all great, so special thanks to our neighbours in Gary Glass. Um, uh, Tom Kana, um, the manager at Kilkenny Greyhound Stadium, and Pat Lockton, the chairman at Kilkenny Greyhound Stadium, a special thanks has to go to them the other evening in Kilkenny, um, they were absolutely super, they closed down the track and the, brilliant for, for, and I know the bossman would have been delighted with that and thanks to them. I know PJ Peacock was mentioned already but I definitely have to give PJ a mention, he was the first responder, he was there the other evening with Daddy and brilliant and the ambulance staff that came as well, a big thanks to them. Um, another good friend of the bossman is down there, Paddy Kelly, um, great friend to Daddy, Paddy. You tell me to shut up now, we will in a minute. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I know she was thanked already, but a, a special thanks from us all has to go to our sister Maraid. She minded Daddy like a baby. In spite of rotten, and only from Maraid. So she done everything for him, and she lived at home as Father Kelly alluded earlier on, and we're great, very grateful for Maraid, from us all. Thank you very much, Maraid. Ross Malai as well for, for his um, video in the Mass online stream. And thanks very much, Ross. Um, um, the boss man. Some man, isn't he? Huh? He was born on the 11th of August, 1930. Married our mother, Mary, and a wonderful mother in 1963. As we allude to, there's eight of us in the family, five boys, three girls. Got the right the eighth time, I think. The last time, I waited for the last myself. <laughs> and we have brilliant childhood memories growing up, every one of us, all through our childhood to this present day. We will cherish them for the rest of our lives, each and every one of us. Um, brilliant memories, as I said. You know, I'll go through a few in a minute. But you know, Daddy loved life. He loved people. He loved chatting. He loved people calling. You know. Glint in his eye, his smile, he loved, loved people calling always and always had the word for everybody. Never in a rush, never, never rushed anybody when they call to the house or when he meet anyone with the dogs. I'd be the opposite, I'd be rush, rush, rush. But you know, Daddy was brilliant, he was brilliant that way. Um, very kind man, all, very, very kind, loving man. You know, he loved us all and we all we loved him to bits. Um, he's 17 grandchildren. Adored every one of them, and likewise them, they adored him. You know, he was, he was, he loved them all, called them, and he proud of every one of them. You know, I'm not going to single out any of them, you know, but super. He loved every, every one of them, proud of them all, um, from the youngest to the oldest. Um, again, Father Kelly alluded on it, great man for faith, great man for the church, sat there every Sunday for Mass. Give out to us when Sundays we didn't go. Go, go when you can, he'd say. We'll certainly have to step up to the mark now. You know, he, he great man of faith, great, great belief, always had. 
at home when we're small, kneeling down on a Sunday evening, five decades of the rosary. Me and Mary Pauline were the youngest, laughing and joking and skidding, and how, how, how we'd, we'd counting them, how we'd, we'd go mad when there was five of them be done. We wouldn't mind doing one, but five of them. <laughs> but he'd done them. We all, that's the memories we have, and they were brilliant memories, brilliant, brilliant memories. We all have them, so all, the older lads as well of that in Gary Glass. Um, uh, um, you know, he's again a great man. Got his hip done 2022 in March, 92 years of age. Hip done. We all thought he was mad getting it done. Mad. But he got it done and came over and had great relief, great pain free after. And he would back walking up and down the avenue after a couple of days. Done exactly. Said, This is. What's the big fuss, you know? He was great. I think he was dog racing after a week he was. Back in the van, going. and Super, super man. Great man. Great, great man. Um, he, he, during COVID, another thing during COVID, kept going. We, kept, we used to have to go to the dogs during COVID. As you know, well, you might know, but the doggy people here would know he had to sit in the van. You weren't allowed in. You were allowed in to watch your dog and back out again. Bossman have a glass of whiskey in the front of the van. You know, often. The cold weather, we might bring soup and sandwiches. Eugene Price will see him over there, you know, bottles of Heineken. He did things like that. He'd come to Kilkenny and sit in the van for three hours just to watch, to see one, one, one race for 30 seconds. That's all you, 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 you weren't allowed in, but he kept going. Superman. Um, I could go on forever telling, you know, stories, but like, um, <clears throat> but we couldn't have wished for a happier passing for Daddy last Thursday evening in Kilkenny dog track. Couldn't have wished for better. Um, you know, he, 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 peaceful it was. We can take great comfort from that. We can. Definitely. He walked up 14 steps, to st flights of stairs, as he's done hundreds and hundreds of times in Kilkenny. Got to the top of the stairs, into the door. Tom Noel and the barman in Kilkenny track reserved the seat from every night. Reserved written on it, a high stool. He got himself up on that onto the high stool, um, nodded his head and closed his eyes. What a lovely way to go. He was just about to order a half one. <laughs> you know, he'd he done that every Friday night, you know, 10 past seven or whatever time it was, first race about to start. Brilliant. What a lovely way to go. And personally, I was delighted I was there with him. Brilliant it was. Um, um, where is... Um, am I going to go now? Um, one more keeps popping up over the last few days, and I've seen the RIP, and it's popping up everywhere you go. Everywhere I see it. It's, it's, and one word is gentleman. And how fitting that is, because he was a true gentleman. And I mean that, not just saying it because he's the boss man, but it's true, true gentleman. He was so kind and soft-spoken to everyone. I don't think we ever had a crossword. And that's saying a lot putting up with a lot of us. I don't think we ever, ever had a cross. We had our disagreements, don't get me wrong, but never a very, never a cross word with him. And that's, that's, that's a fair achievement, I think, <laughs> dealing with the Ramos bottoms, definitely. <laughs> um, on a lighter note, I'm going to tell you one quick story. <clears throat> it's a doggy story, a greyhound story, I should say, but I'm going to, one quick story about, um, about the boss man. Last Friday week, we were going to Kilkenny to the dogs. Um, two weeks ago this Friday, and I picked them up. As I do most Friday evenings, I drive down, pick them up. Drive up to the front door, blow the horn, sit on the horn, because he couldn't hear you. And eventually he might look out, the telly could be blaring or whatever, but anyhow, eventually he'd, he'd, he'd look out, out he'd come, and into the van. Um, so we three runners that night, and we're heading up to Spink to collect the third partner in crime down there, PJ Brennan, great friend of the boss man still. <coughs> And to thank Peter for all his help as well, over and so kind to the boss man all through his life. But anyhow, before we got to Spink, the boss man said to me, which of these three do you fancy tonight? And the dogs had been running bad now for a couple of weeks, as anyone that has been watching would have known that. Um, so I said to him, I says, I think your lad will win tonight, boss, I said. His dog was running. And then there was silence in the van. And he says to me, did you show him anything? Doggy people will know what that means, so I won't, I won't go into it. I says, don't worry about that. 
he's all right. <clears throat> I says, why did he ask me that? He says, the bugger isn't running well. And it wasn't as nice as that now, but that's the, more or less. <laughs> I said, you'll be okay tonight, boss, in that department. So again, there was a little small pause there was, and next thing I seen him rooting in his pocket and rooting and lifted one cheek of his arse up off the seat and pulled out his wallet. <clears throat> out came a 50. He says, throw that on him, see how he goes. I think he gave Paddy Kelly another 50 too on the QT without him back we got there. But anyhow, a happy ending. The dog won, thank God, that night. Inky Kenny, which is, very, which is good when the win, but it was, his, it was the bossman's last runner, and it was the winner, thank God. And again, first or last, as someone said earlier on, the boss never, buy, never minded. He smiled and enjoyed the night. He loved going to the dogs, and we loved bringing them. You know, he loved, he loved Kilkenny, especially a handy run half an hour in the road. He came to Limerick with us there, five rounds of ledger every night, and never in a hurry home. Never, 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 no problem that way. But Bossman had a marvellous, he ran a mar massive race, the Bossman. You ran a massive race. You reached the winning post, as J.J. Conrad said now, as a true champion. And again, we want to thank the Bossman for everything he's done for all of us. There'll never be another likes him again. He's ran a good race. Look after us all, boss. You're back now where you're happy with Mammy. He's a great man, as we said, and it's hard to believe he's gone, but we're delighted he was so peaceful. There's been a lot of tragedies around Timahoe all over Ireland in the world going on, and he says that, and we know there's a lot of people here in this church and in Timahoe, there's a lot, lot younger people here, and it killed them to see younger people in that graveyard up there. You know, he'd often say, you know, I'm an old lad now, and I should be gone rather than them. You know, and it, we, we, we are very, very lucky, very lucky to have had from 93 years, and he lived every one of them, and no regrets, none whatsoever. He died as he lived. And as I said, we'll, we'll sell, it's a celebration. We are sad today, of course we're sad, but it's a celebration. And now, I'm going to finish up. He was a great man for a recitation, the boss man, so I'm going to give this one a go. I'm sorry, before I start this, um, there's tea in the hall afterwards. We'd like to join us. The GF put on tea and sandwich in the hall, so we'd like to join you just across here after the burial. You're all, all very welcome back there. Before we go our separate ways, I have but one request to ask at my departure from this world. That is the charity of his silence. And now, my friends, go if you will and build on other nations. But leave your heart in there and still among your poor relations. Or oh, pipe me out in any map, a match for green Killarney, Kevin's bed or Dunlow's gap or the misty shades of Blarney. Ah me, I doubt an isle so fair was ever seen elsewhere. Oh never, never, never. Rest in peace, boss man. so far and with that now thanks Karen with that now we'll just have the final blessing and then the farewell prayers the Lord be with you the almighty God bless you all Father, Son and the Holy Spirit our Mass is ended now let us bless the Lord we stand now for the final prayers before we go our separate ways let us take leave of our brother Billy. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ which conquers all things destroys even death itself. Saints of God, come to his aid. Come to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to Father Moses. May Christ who called you take it to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to Father Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to Father Most High. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
into your hands, Father of mercy. We say, commend our brother Billy in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, you will rise with him on the last day. We thank you for the blessings you gave him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant. Help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. In peace now, let us take our brother to his place of rest. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Whoever believes in me, even though that person dies, shall live. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever lives and believes in me will never die. May he rest in peace. Amen.
attention.
and of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our brother, Billy, has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope and eternal life, we assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. We read in scripture, Come you whom my Father has blessed, says the Lord. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. O oh God, by whose mercy the faithful departed find rest. Bless this grave and send your holy angel to watch over it. As we bury here the body of our brother, deliver his soul from every bond of sin, that he may rejoice in you and with your saints forever. Lord Jesus Christ, by the three days you lay in the tomb, you made holy the graves of all who believe in you. And so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection. Even as it claims our mortal bodies, grant that our brother Billy may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory. For you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face, and in your light will see light, and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Almighty, ever-living God, in you we place our trust and hope. In you, the dead whose bodies were temples of the Spirit, find everlasting peace. As we take leave of our brother, give our hearts peace in the firm hope that one day Billy will live in the mansion you have prepared for him. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our brother Billy from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. Let us commend our brother to the Lord. May the Lord embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. The Lord bless him and keep him. And keep, may the Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him. The Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. Dear friends, in reverence we pray to God, the source of all mercies. You raise the dead to life. Give our brother eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you console Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to all who mourn for Billy and dry the tears of those who weep. Lord, have mercy. Comfort us in our sorrow. Let our faith be our consolation, eternal life our hope. Lord, have mercy. We pray for all who are interred here in Jimaho Cemetery. May their suffering be lessened, their joy increased. May the light of glory shine on them. May they rest in peace. Lord, have mercy. With, the, with the longing for the coming of God's kingdom, we pray together, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of holiness and power, 
Accept our prayers on behalf of your servant Billy. Do not count his deeds against him, for in his heart he deserved to do your will. As his faith unites him to your people on earth, so may your mercy join him to the angels of heaven. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say the first glorious mystery, the rosary, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, weakness, valley of tears. Turned in most gracious advocate and eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, all of you, most sweet virgin, pray for us, Holy Mother of God. May the prayers of Mary, the Mother of God, who stood by the cross, her son was dying, help all who mourn for Billy, and accompany all of us in our time of need. Eternal rest, grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful depart. Mercy, God, rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.